we all love sports. Most of us have played them our whole lives. Me, myself, I played from Pee Wee to high school, high school to college, and even some semi-pro. Baseball, basketball, football, I'm not just a talking head. I've been on radio shows, 88.1 FM WZIP, TV for ZTV, located at the University of Akron. I talk to different media and, pl and players and coaches around the world, so I know what I'm doing. I mean what I say, and as always, I'm ready to play. For me, my athletic career began at the tender age of seven. Today, at a mature age of 33, I can still be found traveling the country in search of competition. One lesson that I've learned after competing for many years at a high level, it's not just a physical game. One must be strong mentally in order to earn the title of champion. I am a philosopher by study, an athlete by nature, a man that considers reason and intellect to be our greatest attributes. And now it's time for sports and discourse. So what are we talking about now? NBA. NBA, NBA, you know, this being the summertime, big thing going on right now was free agency. You know, you, you have to draft, but it seems like free agency has overshadowed that by so much. You know, leading up to the draft, you know, the big deal was um, um, Blake Griffin being drafted by the Clippers and then after that not knowing what was going to happen. And then, and then once free agency hit, you know, you had the Spurs picking up Richard Jefferson. You know, so now you got Ginobili, Parker, Duncan, and Jefferson. And then you had Shaq going to the Cavaliers. You had the Orlando Magic who lost Hito Turkoglu, but they picked up Vince Carter in a, in a trade with the Nets and they gave up um, Courtney Lee and Ray for Austin. You know, so you've had a lot of movement going on. Ron Artest goes to the Lakers. Um, Trevor Ariza switches places with him and goes to Houston. When you look at everything that's going on in free agency right now, um, how are the teams starting to shape up and, you know, who have made the right moves and who still needs to make moves? Well, Cleveland, obviously, I think is would be like the number one thing that's in the, going on right now because they got so close and didn't obtain it. You know, that's a, that's even that's a bigger story. I think that's a bigger story than Kobe successfully winning his and then Phil Jackson, you know, moving to the next level. <laughs> why, why are you giving me this look? <laughs> I'm listening to you. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> personally, I disagree, but I'm still listening because, right, right. you know, you weren't done. So right, I right. To hear and it all. since you asked me personally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. So, so I, my personal opinion is that the, the failure of the king is like the biggest story. So, you know what I'm saying? And, and the acquisition of Shaquille O'Neal, you know what I'm saying? The monster in the middle. Is he, you know, going to be... Uh, the the missing piece to you know get the king the ring as they're kicking around in Cleveland. So I think that's a big story. So we'll find out how that goes. Um, you know, with Vince Carter in Orlando, you know, I actually think that they had took a step back. Yeah, and you know, I don't think Orlando will have any longevity. I don't think they're obviously they're they're dealing away people right now. So they're they I don't think they were going to be a, a threat in the long run. So you know, whatever. Um, who else did you mention? You mentioned some other people. Lakers picked up Ron Artest, which, Lakers, which, Ron Artest. which I actually think that that was probably the biggest thing that happened this summer. I mean, Shaq coming to Cleveland, I mean, that was good. I think from a cosmetic standpoint, you know, it looks good. But I think that there are so many more pressing needs that they need. Now, don't get me wrong. Shaq is an important piece, and I think if they would have had him last year, uh, they could have defended Dwight Howard differently, and that Orlando series would have been completely different. But they still need a shooting guard. They still need some more height. They still need a power forward. The story now is there that their major re-signing will be Anderson Verizal this summer. And, I, I mean, I'm not thrilled with him, as where when you look at our test, I mean, they actually upgraded you get rid of Ariza, who really just performed during the playoffs. I mean, he, he. Um, I think per, I think personally, he's overrated right now. 
I mean, what has he really done? He, I think his average is maybe like 11 and 4, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like he's a big number guy. He plays defense. But now you bring in Ron Artest, who was a former defensive player of the year, can get you 16 and 8 easily. And not just 8, but he's going to get you about 4 or 5 assists on top of that. I mean, in my mind, the Lakers have put themselves at the top. You know what I'm saying? If Boston can't acquire Ra Rasheed Wallace, which the report says that he should be signing with them, I think that you have to put them on top of the East. The Spurs definitely are a, a players now because they've gotten themselves younger and more athletic. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Cleveland, even though they won 66 games last year and had the best record, I think that they find themselves chasing right now. Okay, and, you know, <clears throat> my thing was that the Shaq acquisition was the major story. That was the biggest story. Now, does was that the best deal? Is that going to move Cleveland where they need to be? I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I was just saying as far as, you know, the stories. And uh, the thing with L.A., hey, they were going to be, they're already at the top. You said, well, acquiring Ron Artest, puts him, they, they just won the ring. I mean, they're already, they're going to remain championship contenders. I mean, they have a winning thing going on in LA. So, you know, bringing in Ron Artest doesn't do much more to that. I mean, they were they were already winners. They're going to continue to be winners. And that's why I'm saying, you know, with with Shaq to Cleveland, it could that be, you know, I don't know. That was and yeah, that that's that, that the story thing was is what I was talking about. I don't know if Shaq's the the answer in Cleveland. Are they still chasing they they very well could be. Um, you know, I I, I don't know. I don't know. On the side note, just Looking at it from a Cleveland angle, do you think that LeBron not being committed past next year has hurt Cleveland as they've tried to recruit players for this year? Uh, it should not be. Um, but obviously, you know, where LeBron goes, the energy, the excitement, the whole championship fever in Cleveland goes. I mean, there's no, there's no discussion of it without LeBron James. So, you know, yeah, it's pretty important when you talk about you know bringing people into Cleveland. You know if that's that's your sale, that's your ticket. So if your ticket's not there, then you know you're back to you know, hey, Mark Price used to play here. <laughs> I, I don't those know. Those good mean, years. Which, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. So you're back to selling those years. That's yeah. what you're back to doing. Like we're you. rebuilding. Come in to help us. You know, get you know. That's where you're back too. You know. But with 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 LeBron there, you're like, hey, you know, we're already on top. You know, we're, we got a great chance. We're knocking down the door, you know. So, yeah, but it, it's important. You know, I mean, it's just interesting because normally the summertime is ruled by football, but it seems like, especially as of late, the NBA has been the main talk going on. Free agency, so many big names have been switching teams, and I know that I can't wait for next season, but I can say that I can't wait a little bit because NFL comes up first, and, you know, the Browns, hopefully we go um, get some things done this year. But um, I, I can always wait for the NBA. I'm not a big basketball person, so, you know, whatever. We'll be back with more sports and discourse.